But hey, none of that is without the selfish reasons. Oh, somebody's gonna shoot me. Hello guys, and I know, I know, I know, I know. The title of this video is completely provocative and there must be UX designers all around the world just cursing me. In fact, the truth is I haven't really been able to sleep very much over the last couple of days because I can just feel the wrath of every UX designer just upon me and it's just, it's just too much to bear. Anyway, if we can kind of get past the title and look at the satirical side of this, I just really wanted to make a video about why I made a career jump towards UX design and I feel really, really enthusiastic about these reasons and I feel as if everybody should gain the fruit of these reasons and a big part of me making this video was because I've already spoken to so many people about the course that I'm doing. For those of you that don't know it's with the UX Design Institute and it's a diploma that I'm doing that kind of gets me career ready and employability ready for the world of UX design and I've been so so enthusiastic about this. I feel like everybody in the world should join so I think that this video would probably be valuable to people who might want a bit of a career jump and this might be an area that they are looking into or if it's an area that you're already looking into these reasons might just persuade you towards it. Before I start and I have seven reasons for why I personally made this jump I want to put a bit of a disclaimer out there and say that these reasons are very very personal to me and maybe UX designers who are already working professionally may not be able to relate with me and I guess the other thing that I want to say is that these reasons might make the world of UX design seem really easy but I know for a fact that that's not the reality of the industry but here are my seven things. So the first thing guys is that the UX design industry is a significantly growing industry. It's very, very new, which means that it's only been around for about six to seven years, but there's an increasing need for UX designers. In fact, there's lots of studies and reports which indicate that the demand for UX designers is way higher than the supply. So it's definitely something that is valuable. Personally, it just made sense to me because I've always been from a creative background I've sometimes been in a position where I've been quite disposable because my roles have always seemed like something that's a bit of a luxury and in circumstances where companies perhaps couldn't afford to keep me I really felt very disposable. I think there's no real way to sugarcoat that and I really wanted to do something and upskill myself in something where I felt valued and that there was a need for. I've read a couple of different reports which indicates further that a post-COVID world will see the demand of UX designers even more and that's because lots of businesses obviously through this time have been failing and adapting and things have been changing and the way UX design is it's all about fixing problems for companies so companies that are having problems for example with the customer journey on their website you know a UX designer is somebody that they would call to kind of fix that problem. It genuinely is a problem solving discipline, which basically means that you go through this whole process to firstly research and define what the problem is, and then it's your responsibility to go and solve it. Sometimes, and especially in larger corporations, you can find that the problem that is identified isn't actually the problem that needs to be fixed. And it really is up to the UX designer to fix what these problems are, but also identify them in a way that really makes sense using lots of different techniques to gather data that really puts the user in the center of fixing the problem. Personally, that bit just really, really excites me. The thing is, in the past when I've been put in roles where I feel like I'm not really making a difference or that the fruits to my labor don't really equate to how much effort I'm putting in, that really, really frustrates me. Especially because in the past I have got very bored with things that don't really make a difference in the grand scheme of things. I feel like UX design really doesn't give me the opportunity to be bored because I know that I'm always working towards fixing something on a very human and business level and kind of aligning what those goals are. 
And I guess the third reason is that it's very ethical. You are actually making a genuine difference in the world through your UX work. When the goals of UX design align with making something more marketable or more efficient or, or more useful for the user, it really is an ethical process where you're using technology to make things better for humans. And here's the conspiracy theorist in me that technology is going to take over the world. UX design really punches that whole notion in the face because really you're working towards something that is more ethical, something that is better for the user. And especially if you're working towards a career that you want to keep for a long period of time, having that satisfaction that what you're doing is actually bringing goodness to the world is really needed. But hey, none of that is without the selfish reasons. Oh, somebody's gonna shoot me. Because of the high demand of UX designers, it is a really, really well-paid profession. I do want to make a video about what that means on a wider scale, so I won't go into too much detail about it now. But the truth of the matter is that because of the high demand that UX designers have in the world right now, they are quite generously paid. And I guess the main thing for me is that I'm not really money orientated in the way that I'm chasing money, but I believe that money can give you a certain level of comfort. Because I have a family and I have a child and there's certain things that I want to do in life that will bring me a certain level of flexibility. Along with the kind of financial reward that a career in UX design has the potential to reap, the truth of the matter is that that financial security would bring you a certain level of flexibility which in my situation means that I would be able to work less and spend more time doing things that I want to do, spend more time with my family and that level of flexibility is so important for me especially at this stage in my life that I wouldn't really want to trade that for working in a career where I have to really steadily work harder and harder and harder as I grow up and I see the lack of flexibility. Guys, the fifth reason is, and this may be only true for a very small amount of people in the world, but for me, it really brings art and science together. I have a degree in psychology and that was always my first love. I thought I was going to grow up becoming a psychologist until I did the degree. When I realized that working as a psychologist probably isn't the best thing that I can do with my life. And instead it was really that theoretical, framework and the research techniques that I really loved. The truth of it is I really enjoy studying the way that people think, the way that they behave and what really makes them tick and that really is the center of working as a UX designer. You have to really care about the user and the way that they think and the way that they behave and what really matters to them. I don't feel like you could be very successful as a UX designer if you don't really care about that process and because it's coupled with this whole artistic design side of things it means that those things that I'm learning about the user I'm able to implement to design something that can really be valuable to users. I guess it's always been about expressing my artistic or inclination towards design in more than an aesthetic way and this goes back to the whole problem solving thing but when you can research and implement using both of those things together I think that's magical. And to be honest with you, both of those things, the psychology and the design side of things are so important to the way that I am. It's quite rare for me to be able to find a discipline where they just work together. So when I found that out about UX design, it was just, it was mind blowing for me. And I knew that that was something that I really, really wanted to work towards. And I guess that stresses the fact that it's all about humans. I don't know if it was fair to segregate this point and the last point, but the fact that it's all about humans means that there's a real empathetic kind of notion behind user experience, whereby looking at the way that people interact with things, it's really being able to create and analyze those things together so that it kind of tickles every single sense of a human being where the way that something looks, the way something feels, the way something smells or tastes or, or whatever is just all together as a full experience for the user. And it's fair to say that yeah we're all individuals and we're all so different and we interact with things very differently and that is really true. But finding that there's a shared experience between 
humanity through technology and the way that we do experience it, I think that is truly a beautiful, beautiful thing. And lastly, guys, it's a profession and a discipline that is always changing. Since I've even come on board with this course, there are already so many changes within the industry and things that happen that keep evolving. Like I said earlier, I get bored really quickly. Something that I really enjoy is keeping up to date with trends, technologies and new things that I can learn. I don't see myself as ever wanting to stop learning. So something like UX design is great for me because it sits within the tech industry. Anything within the tech industry is never going to stay the same year upon year upon year and that really attracts me towards it. It's not really an ending process because user needs can change and the way that people will interact with technology can also change. It's not something that just seizes once you've designed something. It's something that's always needed, something that there'll always be a demand for in some respect. So guys, I know some people might have some more questions about some of these points, especially about the course that I'm doing. If that is the case, I urge you to contact me. You can do that on my Instagram. It should pop up somewhere here or Twitter or instead email me. I'll put my email in the description and I'll be happy to answer any questions. But hey, I'm really excited about this journey of mine. I'd love to connect and collaborate with other people. So if anyone finds that they're in a similar position to me or maybe further along the way, I would love for you to get in touch. So thank you again for watching my video and I hope to see you soon.